So that means we've already got $99 worth of savings right here. And it is 55 bucks. That's normally like a hundred dollar set. That's awesome. We just hit a jackpot of unmarked Clarence Lego up here. What's going on everybody? This is Justin, otherwise known as the Flipping Accountant. And today we're doing a speed run at Walmart. We're here about an hour before they close. We're looking for anything on clearance that we can buy to resell on Amazon, eBay, or Facebook Marketplace. Looking for toys, video games, electronics, Lego, anything we can buy to resell, make money on. That's what we're looking for. If you're into saving money, finding good deals, cool stuff like that, hit that subscribe button. Let's jump right into it. All right, we've got our first clearance section right here we're off to a good start hopefully we find some good stuff it looks like we got a lot of outdoorsy type stuff so we're just going to speed run through this i'll just show you guys what's out there we got blankets we got pioneer woman stuff we got more towels all sorts of stuff not really the kind of stuff that i'm looking for but around the next corner we've got some toys so we'll look at those too got some water bottles all sorts of stuff like that let's see we got some big pans watermelon trays covered tray sets home better home and garden stuff we got washcloth or washcloths tablecloths just kidding tablecloths over here we got some outdoor blankets big jugs for lemonade so there's a lot of clearance stuff right now and apparently we have a lot of toys that we need to inspect right here. So there is a ton of toys. So we're gonna quickly run through them. We've got some Cocoa Melon. I'll probably go through and scan some of this stuff for Amazon and see if we can't find anything really good worth selling. Nine bucks was 22, that's not bad. Transformers, Peppa Pig. Oh, that seems like a really good deal. 35 bucks, it was 102. Squeaky, the balloon dino at 25 bucks was 70. Seems like a pretty good deal. So it looks like they've just got a ton of stuff that they're clearancing out. Make sure you check your local stores because they may have a better selection or a different selection, but this is just the kind of stuff that I'm seeing in my store. Let's see, we got some little squishy ice cream, some toys. So I'm just gonna quickly show you guys everything that I'm seeing here, and then I will go through and scan some of it and see if I can find anything good for Amazon and I'll let you know. Let's see, we got some real littles. Five bucks was 10. Disney Dorables for real stuff. But yeah, I mean, just look at all of these toys, just a ton of stuff. So they must be just getting ready to reset their mods and uh, change everything out. Got some Disney Princess stuff, Walmart exclusive. That might be worth something here. Squishville. I like some of these little Squishville guys. These sell pretty good on Amazon. Oop, oop. We got our first Lego hit right here. We'll have to scan those and see, uh, see what those are selling for. Bratz dolls, Jurassic Park, all sorts of stuff. More Barbie stuff, Barbie clothes. So the discounts aren't amazing. Some stuff is a pretty good discount, uh, but overall it's not too amazing. Let's see, we got a uh, flat woven beach towel for five bucks and then more outdoorsy type stuff. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and use the Walmart app to scan the prices and see if we can find the uh, prices. See if we can find the best clearance prices. Lately, I've been having to use the scan and go part of the Walmart app, and that's been getting the uh, more accurate prices. So try it both ways. Try it with the Walmart app, and if that doesn't work, try it with the scan and go. And then if you're not using scan and go, just ask for an employee to help you out. So I'm gonna scan for a little bit. I'll let you guys know what I find. All right, so just to let you guys know, I did go up and down and scan a whole bunch of stuff over here. I didn't really find anything worth picking up for my purposes to buy to resell on Amazon, but we're gonna keep looking because you never know what you're gonna find. There are some good deals. It's just not really the discounts that I'm looking for. And if I'm gonna buy stuff to hold on to, it's gonna be Lego or different kind of toys like that. But there are lots of kids stuff, boys, toys, girls, toys, all sorts of stuff. So let's keep moving. Looks like we found a whole nother clearance section. We got a whole bunch more stuff over here. We got some computers, we got some Netgear stuff, we got some Sims games over here. Nothing too special, I don't think. Software, phone cases, you know I don't mess with phone cases. Coca Melon stuff, we got our another Lego set here. This has 40. We'll have to check with this, check this with the Walmart app and see what it actually is ringing up for. We got some Gujitsus. I like Gujitsus if they're cheap enough. Let's see what else we got. We got some WWE stuff, Batman. We got some more Lego over here. 15 bucks, not really the best deal. Get me a Thor hammer over here. I like this one. Stormbreaker, that's what I'm talking about. Another Lego. I'm not a fan of Lego City, so I don't really grab those. Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. That doesn't really look like it's on sale, so we'll pass on that. Yeah, this stuff is really just not jumping out at me here. So 
really hope we can find some better stuff than this because this is not amazing. Got some Super Mario outfits for seven bucks. They were 10, meh. Nerf bullets for three. These might be worth picking up. Those look huge. Minecraft, I like Minecraft stuff on Amazon. Let's see, Thomas the Train. So yeah, nothing's really blowing my hair back. So I'm gonna spend a few minutes and I'm gonna scan some of this stuff and see if we can find anything good over here. And I will let you guys know. Let me show you the two best things that I found in this aisle. Nothing too amazing, but here's the thing. Always double check the price because this is 17 bucks for Stormbreaker. I'm gonna use the Walmart Scan and Go and the Scan and Go says it's 13 bucks. So it's only 13 bucks. So I think it's kind of cool, a little nerdy. Might have to grab this for myself. Then we got a Lego friend set over here. It says it's 40 and then we're going to go ahead and scan it with the scan and go and it's actually 29. And I think that's pretty good because I think that's normally like a 60 or $70 MSRP, normally 60 bucks. So that's 50% off. So 50% off, that's a good discount. I think we're going to grab that and we might just grab this for myself just because. So anyways, nothing too amazing in this aisle. We did scan a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, we're not going to give up. We're going to keep looking. Let you guys know what I find. So check this out. So we were just in this aisle checking out all this clearance stuff, right? So I come out of here and I turn left and there is even more clearance stuff on this aisle. This is, doesn't even have a clearance sign, but there's a whole bunch of clearance stuff. We got LOL, Clubhouse, Fisher Price, Clubhouse stuff, more Coca Melon stuff on clearance. Blues Clues, just tons of stuff. We do have some more Lego. These are 25 bucks, they're normally 35. We got Rainbow High Dolls, Mickey and Minnie Jr., Batman, stuff everywhere. So this place must just be getting rid of a ton of toys because this is just like the third or fourth aisle that we found just full of toys. All OMG stuff, Disney Princess. So again, I will go up and down and scan this stuff and see if there's anything good for Amazon, but nothing's really jumping out at me, honestly, with discounts. But, you know, if you're buying this stuff for gifts or for Christmas or for birthdays or whatever, these are some really good prices. We got Barbie stuff down here, 11 bucks, was 25? Yeah, that seems pretty decent. So yeah, they're uh, they're definitely trying to move this stuff. Lots of, lots of good discounts, lots of Barbie stuff they're trying to get rid of apparently. And uh, LOL cards, just all sorts of stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna scan. I'm gonna scan the Amazon seller app, see if I can find anything worth selling. I'll let you guys know. All right, so I went up and down and I scanned all those toys. I didn't really find anything good, but I did just wanna remind you Make sure that you're always checking the end caps because a lot of these end caps have clearance stuff too that they're trying to get rid of. This is just some beach toy set, but seven bucks, it was 10. Over here, we got some beach towels. These are like oversized beach towels for seven. They were 13, that sign says 15, but seven bucks, not a bad deal. I was thinking about getting one for myself. But anyways, don't forget to check the end caps because you can find some really good deals. There's some more clearance towels right there. So anyways, we're gonna keep looking through the store and see what else we can find. This is how you can tell it's late at night or early in the morning because they have tons and tons of stuff stacked in the middle of the aisles, which means they're getting to restock the shelves. So this is what they're doing late at night. This is what the employees are busy with. So it's nice because I don't really have to worry about anyone bugging me. We've got uh, stuff in the aisles and we've got some interesting uh, developments here. So if you know me, you know I'm a Lego investor, collector, reseller, stuff like that. I like to buy Lego when they're cheap hold on to them and then sell them when the prices go high, right? Makes sense. If I'm here, I'm always checking Lego. Here's the thing. They've got these signs up that this usually happens when they are resetting the mod. Resetting the mod. That means that they're taking stuff off the shelves and redoing everything in accordance with whatever this sign says right here. Now there's a whole bunch of these signs and they all say checked off and done. So, that means that uh, most likely they've already gone through and reset everything over here. So that means the stuff that's on the shelves are probably what's going to be here for the next six to eight months or whatever. My strategy going forward, since it looks like all of this stuff has been reset and reorganized, hopefully we can get lucky and scan the stuff up top and find some clearance Lego deals up there because it's not likely that they're going to be down here. My first example right here, right over here, Here's all the sets that looks like they're gonna have for a while. Right up here, I'm gonna grab this. We've got an AT-AT Lego set right here. This is normally a $20 set, but let me grab the Walmart Scan and Go and we'll check the price for you. And it's ringing up for 11 bucks. That means that's $9 off or 45% off. That's a really good deal, especially on Star Wars Lego sets. So 
I'm definitely gonna have to grab some of these because each one of these is a $9 savings. And if you look up there, there's definitely a whole bunch of them. So these are definitely coming home with me. I'm gonna spend some time, I'm gonna grab some of those. I'm gonna scan stuff and I will let you guys know what else we find so you know what to look for in your store so you can save money too. All right, so just to show you what we're starting off with, we've got 11 of these ATAT -AT sets. Each one of these is a $9 savings. So that means we've already got $99 worth of savings right here. Almost a hundred bucks saved on just those Lego and I'm very excited about it. So just to kind of give you guys an update, so far I've scanned about maybe about halfway point here and I've still got quite a few more to go. So far we found some of these guys that are unmarked clearance for half off. These are five bucks, normally 10. Five bucks, normally 10. These guys uh, were in the poly bag area. This is three bucks, normally five. This little Batman Batmobile, this is three bucks, normally five. I really like this new Batman movie. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. So I thought Robert Pattinson did a better job than I expected. So it was uh, pretty good for me. So I kept scanning over here and I found some Lego friends that are unmarked clearance. And these guys are five bucks a piece, normally 10. So let's see if I can do this one handed while on camera. No pressure, no pressure. Look at that, look at this. The real question is how am I gonna get it down? Hmm, we just set it down over here. Look at that, oh, hold the applause, please. These guys right here, this is a forced waterfall. This is five bucks, normally 10. I definitely think these are worth picking up. I've picked these up at other stores for five bucks. So these are the kind of thing when they run out, they're gonna go for like 15, 20 bucks on Amazon. So I'm picking those up for me to resell on Amazon, but if you're looking for some cheap Lego, look for this set. For five bucks, it's a cute little set. Woo, pretty excited. We just hit the jackpot. So let me share it with you. I'm pretty pumped about this. We just hit a jackpot of unmarked clearance Lego up here. So this, I get so excited about this. This is why I really enjoy hunting for this stuff. Stop it, get some help. First set right here, I'm gonna scan that. That's 15 bucks. This set right here, this is normally a $30 set. So that's another half off, 50% off deal right there. I think we got this wild lion that we need to tame for seven bucks. Yes, please. This guy is normally a $15 set right there. But this is the real jackpot. Let me show you guys, check this out. This is a giant Heart Lake City Grand Hotel. This thing is monstrous. Let's go ahead and scan this with the Walmart and it is 55 bucks. That's normally like a hundred dollar set. That's awesome. So let's check it with the Amazon seller app real quick. And this is selling for 110 bucks right now. So, I mean, basically it's like 50% off for this giant set. I could sell it right now and make like 30 bucks profit or I could hold on to it until Christmas and probably get even more for it. This 41684, so that's a $55 savings. Boom, right there, 41684. And if you look up there, 41684, 41684. Yeah, that's a little over 150 bucks, what, $165 savings on just one, two, three sets. That's fantastic. We still have all of this stuff that we gotta keep scanning, but I think we gotta get those. I can't leave those behind. This is going pretty good. This is all unmarked clearance stuff. So yeah, we're gonna keep moving. We're, we're doing great. All right, ladies and gents, let's do a quick update because we are running out of time here. So I scanned pretty much everything else down there and I found a couple more hidden clearance things. This one right here is called the Warped Forest. This one is normally a $30 set and it is ringing up for 19 and it's not marked. So I just kind of found that one by scanning. Let's see, that one's going for 19. That's normally a $30 set. So the Warped Forest, probably worth picking up. I like Minecraft sets. Minecraft sets have done well for me. So we're gonna grab that one. I did find another stack of unmarked clearance friends up here. There's a whole stack of them. I pulled one down just to show you guys. This one is, I think it's 29. It's normally 60, I'll say 29 bucks. Yeah, and this is normally a $60 set. So that's half off. This probably worth picking up, but I already did grab a few really big sets. So we're gonna keep looking. I may come back for those, but in case we don't find anything else, I will grab those. I am legitimately blown away because I continue to find more and more clearance aisles that are not even marked. I'm in the lawn and garden center of this Walmart, the particular Walmart that I'm in. 
and I found a whole nother two aisles of unmarked clearance toys. It, I'm sorry, the, the aisle is not marked, right? Like there's no clearance sign. I'm just finding it because I'm just walking up and down all the aisles. So if you have time and patience to look, go up and down every aisle because you never know what you're gonna find. So let me run through what I found so far. We've got a lot of uh, Nerf stuff over here. We got some Nerf Fortnite shotguns, Nerf Ultra stuff, 25 bucks was 60. Roblox nerf. I mean, if you've got kids, if, if you've got grandkids, like these are some great prices to be looking for some nerf stuff. Selling it on Amazon is kind of iffy just because the, these are heavier items. So the Amazon fulfillment fees would take up a lot of that. So I'm not gonna buy those for my purposes, but if you're looking for gifts, whoo, buddy, those are some great prices. Let's see, we got water balloon slingshots for a buck. We got dog split rings, <laughs> a lot of water toys, outdoorsy type stuff, kickball, jump rope, 50 cents, bubble sticks, $2 was five, more Barbie stuff, more bucket swings, sidewalk chalk, two bucks was five, little tight soccer balls, grip flying discs, a whole lot more bubble stuff, Barbie stuff. I mean, this is just really, there is really insane, just the sheer amount of clearance stuff that they have. So seriously like right now is a great time to be looking for stuff coco melon coco melon cry babies don't be a cry baby squish mallows little tykes sidewalk chalk water blasters just tons and tons of stuff so this is why it's, it, it pays to be patient and just go up and down and scan every aisle look look in every aisle lots of good stuff i'm gonna go through and scan some of this stuff so far i haven't found anything in these aisles for my purposes but for you guys buying it for gifts or for personal use or whatever these are some great prices so don't miss out all right, all right, all right. So I hate to be a broken record, but I found even more outdoorsy type pool stuff over here near the lawn and garden section. A lot more of the, uh, you know, the water toys, little tyke stuff, outdoorsy type stuff. Pools, 15 bucks was 30, not a bad deal. I might need to get one of those for me and Bernie. What do you guys think? I do think that we hit the Lego and the clearance jackpot, folks. This is another unmarked aisle there is no clearance signs up ahead and we are completely filled to the brim with action figures wwe figures bakugan for two bucks seems pretty good dc we've got ghostbusters we've got friends we've got lego friends oh my goodness gracious i think this is where the action is at this makes sense because when i was going up and down the aisle i was like they have to have more lego somewhere and this is just in another unmarked aisle. So I definitely think this is gonna pay off, but just kind of keep going down the aisle. We've got big sets down here, which that cart is not gonna be enough for me. So we're, I don't know, we're not gonna go crazy. Smaller sets, you say seven, I bet these are five. I'm gonna load up on the small sets. Personally, I prefer to get the smaller sets just because they're easy to ship, they're easy to deal with. The bigger sets are harder to store, they're harder to manage. Personally, I like the smaller sets versus the bigger sets, that's just me. But if you're a collector, if you're an investor, everybody else has their own strategy, right? But that's just me. Again, we've got more Lego down here. We've got the Warped Forest. We know that's 19, not 25. What else, what else? Minecraft, Eternals, this thing. Doesn't this thing look like a big flying piece of pizza right there? No. I don't know, 69 bucks, probably still too much. I did not care for the Eternals movie. I don't know about you guys, but I did not care for it. What if Tony, Iron Man, Tony Stark, Shang-Chi? This is gonna get kind of ridiculous. So we are gonna have to pick and choose what we wanna get because we're not gonna grab everything cause that would just probably be way too much. Probably gonna go with the smaller sets, probably gonna go with the higher discounted sets that we can get, you know, because the clearance is just starting. There's still plenty of time for them to keep marking them down. So, you know, every week or every couple weeks, they normally mark prices down, but I like to buy when I find stuff at a good price. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna start scanning stuff. We're gonna see what else we can fit into that shopping cart over there. So let me give you guys an example. This says 69 bucks right here, but if I scan it with the Walmart app, it says 49. So the MSRP on this is 90 bucks. So for 50 bucks, you're saving $40 just on this one set. It's a really good deal. But again, I'm not a huge fan of big sets, so I probably wouldn't grab it. So anyways, that's why you need to go through and scan stuff. Let's do a close up. Let me show you guys what I'm seeing over here. So I just scanned these little sets and these guys are five bucks, normally 10 and they say seven. So for five bucks, I'm definitely gonna have to stock up on some of these small ones. I like this guy right here. This is a space mining mech. Plus it's a three in one. So you can actually make different configurations. It's normally a $25 set and let's check the price. 
boom 13 bucks that's normally 25 so we're almost at 50 percent off definitely got to grab some of these i will pass on the city sets because i'm not a huge fan of city so yeah it does look like the prices are cheaper than the sticker prices so unfortunately these guys are a little beat up from the stupid spider wraps that they put on here but we'll, we'll check the price anyways just to show you guys and these guys are popping up for 90 bucks and they whoa, were 80 so so we're gonna have to kind of pick and choose what we're gonna get here i definitely think we're gonna have to go all in on a bunch of these small sets i like the again like i said i like small sets for five bucks and there's other toys too right like there's there's other there's barbie toys there's coco melon there's tons of different stuff so you know i mean there's tons of different stuff you can find stuff that you're looking for there's blues clues there's coco melon there's melissa and doug i personally i just like to get lego and action figures that kind of stuff that's the stuff that i tend to gravitate gravitate towards but there is plenty of stuff out there for you to look for so we're going to start loading up on some of these lego because they're going to be closing soon and then we are going to get out of here all right ladies and gents i think we have quite a nice haul for tonight we are completely stocked up and of course there is a ton of lego still left on the shelf i am not gonna grab another cart and just go hog wild i think one cart is still good enough for uh, this haul I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that i stuck to the ones with the higher discounts these guys were 45 percent off i think that one was 50. all the small ones were 50 percent off like these little eternal sets right here these were 50 percent off the friend sets were 50 percent off those big sets were 55 bucks off so those were a really good deal i might grab a couple of these i really like this avengers endgame battle set right here just because it's got thanos and it's got a whole bunch of different uh, minifigs in it this is actually 45 bucks it's normally 90 so that's that's half off so i'll probably have to grab one or two of those there is a ridiculous <laughs> number of lego sets still on the shelf that i am not buying today so maybe when they mark them down again maybe i'll come back and grab more but i think to i think it's safe to say today we are all set Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully uh, you got something from it. If you want to learn how to get ungated in Lego, you can check out my ungating playlist. I'll link that up there for you. Anyways, I think we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to grab all this stuff. We're going to go check out. We got a little snacky poo for tonight. We got some Cheetos flavored Lays and some body wash. And yeah, I think we're going to go check out and get out of here. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that thumbs up button for me. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll talk to you later.